Okay, let's get familiar with servo reversing. Servo reversing is critical uh, when you go through and do your control or your control surface setup. Uh, oftentimes, you'll put them in, and depending on the orientation of your elevator, your rudder servo, or your uh, aileron servos, you may need to reverse that based on the um, the throw direction. So, if you need to do your servo reversing, let's take a look at. Or this this builds off the previous uh, short, quick clinic we did on the uh, trimming and sub trimming. So. Let's go ahead, and this is a great way to show uh, servo reversing. A lot of times you'll, you'll initialize a servo and uh, do your dead point, your center point adjustments through your sub trim, and then when you go to hook up your linkage, you'll realize right at the end or after you've hooked up the linkage and the bottom the model sitting there on the, on the bench that you've got the control service reversed. It's no big deal. You just go into the radio system, and uh, from the main menu, we're going to go ahead and go into the wrench or the settings icon, and we're going to go into uh, the model menu, and we're going to look at the reverse tab, reverse icon. So now we're in the servo reverse menu. It displays all of our channels available. And we're on our aileron, which is what we're going to make adjustments to. So it's working the right way for our example, but we're going to say that this is actually opposite based on how it's installed in the model. So we need to reverse that. All we do is go in our aileron. We've got it selected normal, and we choose reverse. It confirm. We have to access if we, took, if we want to confirm. We hit yes. And now we've got a reversed aileron channel. We can verify that by moving our stick moves in the opposite direction it used to. Now the interesting thing too is since we already put a sub trim in, most radios uh, will hold those sub trims you've already dialed in. So a lot of times you go through, you hook up the servo, you find your center point, you hook up your linkage, you've got nice movement on your control service upside down or reversed on the bench, but you don't realize it until you flip the model over, you check, you check out or verify your control services, and now all of a sudden you went through and you sub trimmed and it dialed in uh, um, the uh, sub trim in the opposite direction. So now we've sub trim in our case, let's go back to the sub trim menu in model and in sub trim. We see on our aileron we still have our negative six uh, steps of, of uh, sub trim which is now setting us off of zero. So we need to take that back out. The nice thing now is uh, when we go positive, we're almost dead on. Actually, it's only within a couple steps. So what we've done is, even though we, we flipped or reversed the servo around, we are able to sub trim in the opposite direction and no harm, no foul. We've got our linkage still centered with our, or still true with our control service, our control horn and our servo horns were parallel when we actually set up the linkage and it didn't change anything. So reversing is not a big deal and you always want to verify in the field. Another thing to remember too is on some radio systems, specifically Futaba comes to mind, their throttle channel is often uh, reverse or it's reverse throw for ESCs. So, so if you use electric aircraft, you lose the electronic speed control and you hook that up to uh, the throttle channel, you'll find that your ESC is not arming or it's going into these strange beeping tones. That's called stick programming. So what's happened is when you initialize your radio system, it sees that throttle is actually being full. When in fact you look at it and it's all the way down the bottom since the channel's normal and it's, it's reversed within the programming uh, by default, your ESC is going into programming mode. So uh, always verify on your Futaba radio system, and I, I have to say I don't, I can't think of one instance where I didn't need to reverse the throttle channel on a Futaba radio. Go in and reverse that throttle channel right off the bat before you even do your system setup, or you'll find yourself getting in there and, and putting on, on uh, engine brakes and and maybe setting your cell count and making a bunch of changes to your ESC that you didn't want to as you're moving the stick around trying to figure out what's going on. You could also actually inadvertently arm your uh, motor as well by escaping that setup mode. So always be very, very careful and mindful of your throttle channel. Uh, again, on Futaba radio systems, make sure that throttle is, set, is reversed uh, or you'll have a lot of difficulties. Uh, Aurora 9, the uh, throttle orientation from 0 to 100% is normal out of the box, so I've never had to reverse anything on Aurora. Um, or, uh, and the same can be said with uh, Spectrum uh, radio systems and, and JR radio systems. You don't need to make any changes on those throttle channels. So uh, always be mindful and, and pay close attention to your uh, servo directions and also your throttle uh, reversing when using certain radio setups. But that's reversing. It's simple, easy, and something that will prove highly beneficial uh, when you're out at the field and ready to take off and you realize your ailerons or elevator or rudder are going in the wrong direction.